Ah, hello and welcome to Reverie Auto. How can I help you today? Wonderful. Excellent. That is what we like to hear. Because here at Reverie Auto, we specialize in the fast. And not just fast cars, not just fast automobiles, but those that are the peak of luxury, performance, and luxury working in tandem to create a totally unique and wholly one-of-a-kind driving experience. Now, you may be familiar with some of the super cars which are available for sale. Think the Ferraris, the McLarens, for instance. Think Lamborghini as well. Those are super cars. Even some of the Maseratis, yes, and Mercedes as well, would fall into that supercar category, the higher end of the latter two, of course. But supercars are somewhat limited in nature. They're consumer, they're retail, they're sold and purchased by ordinary people. For people like yourself, People of a certain standing and position within society. People who crave that next level of luxury, of performance. People who deserve the utmost that the world has to offer. For people like yourself, we here at Reverie Auto offer hypercars. Hypercars of course, as the name would suggest, is the next step up in terms of performance. These are undeniable creations of not just automobile performance, but artistic style. These are not vehicles that drive down the road. They're truly works of art. And I mean that. I don't mean that in the sense that they're very expensive, and thus command the title of art. No. The countless hours that thousands of people have poured in to design, to specialize, to craft these automobiles, these vehicles, specifically, specifically for people like yourself, it rivals the architects of the most impressive buildings, structures, you can imagine. These cars are truly the next step up in luxury. Now, what, if I may ask, is your price range that we're talking about today? Because if there are certain um, restrictions, we can work within those. Ah, wonderful. Now that, of course, is what a salesperson like myself likes to hear, not just because I perhaps earn a bit of a commission, but more importantly because it allows me to find you the most tailored, most perfect car that is going to meet and exceed your expectations, that is going to fulfill every desire, every want, every need that you've ever had, okay? Wonderful. Now, before we begin the tour of our many, many offerings, allow me to offer you some refreshment. We have sparkling water, we have still water, and we have a variety of sodas, coffees, teas. Sparkling water, of course, let me... Here we are. This is premium sparkling water. Just as you are a premium customer and deserve only the best that we can possibly offer you. Now, this bottle is of course fresh. It has not been sampled 
it has not been shared amongst our other customers, people like yourself, the upper echelon, as we like to refer to you. You deserve everything. And so we're going to give you everything. And that means that even down to the premium refreshments that we offer you, There is no, even the smell is delicious. <laughs> there is no expense spared. There is no compromise made. That is our commitment to you, not just as a business partner, as we hope to be, but in recognition of your standing within society. Let's pour you a glass, shall we? And here you are. Now that we have taken care of refreshments, so to speak, we can get into the real fun because really that's what we're all after isn't it the thrill of hearing thousands of horsepower surge beneath you the mere concept of traveling at hundreds of miles per hour the idea that all of this was built bespoke just for you that this luxury is peerless and something that so few people will get to experience that you are one of maybe a dozen, maybe even fewer, who will ever have the satisfaction of experiencing what we propose you can experience. It's fun, it's delightful, it's whimsical, and most importantly, it creates that brilliant rush of adrenaline that we're all seeking. It allows you to transcend the bounds of mere mortal transportation to breach that upper echelon of speed, to know a speed that people, very, very few people have experienced. Now, I wax philosophical, and I apologize for that, but I want you to understand, really understand, that we here at Reverie Auto fully believe in our product, not because it's a very expensive product, not because it's brilliantly handmade, handcrafted, customized, bespoke for people like yourself, not because of all of the details that make up perfection, but because the product itself, the result of those countless hours of dedication, of all the details lining up, the result is perfection. And that is why we believe in our products. Now, I'm going to show you, I think three, three vehicles, which judging by what you've communicated to me so far, will match your expectations and exceed them in every meaningful way. So first, I'm going to show you one of our more expensive offerings, okay? This offering is incredibly bespoke, incredibly refined. It's exotic in its styling, but most importantly, it prioritizes luxury, performance, and then luxury. So the first hypercar, which I have the pleasure of introducing you to, is the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. This brilliant piece of technology, this incredible achievement by mankind, there's only seven of them in existence, and you could be one of the seven who will get to own and drive one of these incredible machines. You see behind me the demo tapes playing, you see behind me the hand-tooled leather of the interior. You see the 
diamond-lined headlines. You see all the stylings that make this incredibly exotic car, exotic vehicle come to life, spring up off of the road like a predator, like its namesake, the wolf. It truly has the spirit of the wolf. But of course, spirit and metaphors do not sell a hypercar. What sells a hypercar is performance. Luxury is excellent, but the performance of the Lycan Hypersport is like no other. The Lycan Hypersport can achieve zero to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. That's incredibly fast. It has a top speed of over 245 miles per hour. That is a speed which you feel on, not just a physical, not just a mental, but a spiritual level. It has two turbochargers into its engine. The whole body is a carbon composite in order to keep it incredibly light, in order to keep it well handling, and perhaps most importantly, to help it achieve those absolutely ludicrous speeds. This is a very expensive car, coming in at about $3.4 million before customizations, of course, and the accoutrements which make it uniquely yours. So you can think of $3.4 million as a base price, but not the entire price, okay? Excellent. In addition to that, it has over 700 horsepower, which gives it that speed, which gives it that desire to reach those speeds. W Motors was founded in 2012 in Dubai by Mr. Debus, a mysterious figure who has not allowed his work to be um, showboated around, has not allowed his work, his masterpieces, to be shopped around like some sort of show pony. He's kept everything very close to the vest, played everything very close, such that to even obtain a car like this in order to show you has been an absolute feat on the part of Reverie Motors. But we do it because you deserve it. And because you deserve it, we find the power, we make the right things happen in order to offer this incredible piece of machinery to you. It's fierce, it's angular, it's incredibly precise, and it's that next level. Some people may look at this and see inspiration from other supercars, other hypercars, but it's the details, it's the bespoke luxury exotic centric stylings which elevate this particular machine and make it an undeniable hyper car that's what propels it into that stratosphere that so few cars so few automakers are able to attain how do you find the lycan hypersport wonderful well before you fall too deeply in love, I'm going to show you a few of our other offerings. Do you understand? Not to dissuade you from the masterpiece that is the Lycan, but simply to show you the other options which are available to make sure that you understand that the Lycan is on a level unto its, its own, but then also understand that there are other cars, other vehicles, which exists near or even above that same level. Now, without further ado, allow me to shift our attention to our next offering, okay? Thank you very much. This, I am very pleased to introduce, is the Bugatti Chiron. Now, the Bugatti Chiron takes a very different approach to the hypercar. Where the lichen is very angular, fierce, predatory in its styling, 
the Bugatti is much smoother. You see that C shape. It repeats itself throughout all of the structure, all of the form. It's what defines the Bugatti. It's what makes it a Bugatti. It also gives it that kind of iconic bullet shape. Everything is quite rounded. Everything is very aerodynamic. And it's what allows it to achieve some, well, quite frankly, ridiculous specs, in my personal opinion. The Chiron has a quad turbocharged 8-liter 16-cylinder engine boasting over 1,500 horsepower. Over 1,500 horsepower. It allows it to achieve top speeds over 260 miles per hour, over 260 miles per hour. And its acceleration from zero to 60 is under three seconds. Very much like the Lycan in terms of acceleration, but it's that step up in performance. In fact, the Bugatti prioritizes performance. Where the Lycan prioritizes that feeling of luxury, of knowing that you have purchased something incredibly expensive. The Chiron allows its work to speak for itself in performance. Everything, of course, is carbon fiber, very light, very, very light, which allows it to be very, very swift, okay? There are, of course, a whole host of upgrades and customizations that are available but bugatti truly prioritizes its performance in the perfection in its details okay bugatti takes that next step in performance all aspects of the car the rear mounted engine the liquid cooling that incredible engine which i described to you all contribute to performance but it's not performance that is somehow undercutting the styling of the car. The styling of the car is, in its own right, incredible. It is very, as you can see, minimalistic in its approach, but because of that, it remains timeless. There are digital elements, but the majority of the Bugatti interior is going to be analog and very few dials, very few buttons, gives it a very clean, again, very timeless look on its interior. You could look at this car 50 years from now and still appreciate the work of art, to still appreciate the incredible performance of this car without being dissuaded or put off by antiquated, out of fashion, out of date elements like for example, if somehow the touchscreen goes out of style, I don't see it happening, but let's say in 50 years, somehow it's happened. You wouldn't want a garish, large infotainment system to distract from your Bugatti Chiron, which is exactly why it's been omitted for the Chiron. Yes. You'll notice that C shape is on both the interior and exterior, it defines the shape of the car, as I've already mentioned to you. Something really special that I would like to point out is the wing, the spoiler at the back. That is adjustable, it can act as an air brake. It can adjust itself so that it provides more drag, more lift. Everything has been tooled, has been customized to contribute to the speed of this car. and what speeds it can achieve at 260, over 260 miles per hour. But in order to achieve that high speed mode, you actually have to physically input a key and allow the Bugatti Chiron to perform several checks. Otherwise, you're going to be limited to about 230 miles per hour. Not something to dissuade you, to put you off, but something to keep in mind. This car is built for performance. It prioritizes performance even when there are slight inconveniences to the driver. That being said, once you achieve those 
260 mile speeds. The car knows what you want. The car lives to go at that speed. And it's a treat to drive. It's not some sort of runaway locomotive automobile. It doesn't feel like at any point that you're out of control. The car ensures that you feel safe, feel secure, and feel in control even when traveling at speeds above 250 miles per hour. The roof of the Bugatti is glass to offer, of course, that extra bit of luxury, but also to offer a 360 degree, a three-dimensional driving experience. It's peerless. It's one of a kind. The Bugatti Chiron is what happens when somebody is obsessed over the details, obsessed over being incomparable. And in fact, when the company was started in 1909 by Mr. Bugatti in France, he was quoted as saying, if it is comparable, it is no longer a Bugatti. And of course, that coupled with its history, the Bugatti brand's history of racing success, has made it the absolute titan of hypercar manufacturing that is able to put out a beautiful piece of art like the Bugatti Chiron. Let's talk price. The Chiron is actually significantly cheaper, less expensive than the Lycan. However, that doesn't mean that it is a cheap car. The Chiron rings in at about $3 million base. But again, you have to consider that that is the base price. The upgrades, the accoutrements, the individual stylings, which are going to be used to make that car uniquely yours. And indeed, we can facilitate all of that here at Reverie Auto. All of that is going to increase the price. However, a person like yourself, I don't think that that's going to be too much of an issue. Wonderful. Now, the reason, of course, why there's a price differential between the Bugatti and the Lycan, and indeed what I'm going to, the, the final car that I will show you, has again a bit of a, a drop down in price. The difference in price is not a difference in quality, it's simply a difference in market. The Lycan is a Middle Eastern car, which is crafted totally in the Middle East using all Middle East source parts for the most part, excluding some which can only be found in certain places. It's manufactured in the Middle East, specifically Dubai, and that market is a little bit more expensive. Thus, when it enters into the world stage, with only seven being available, you can understand there's a bit of a premium put on that. That's what increases the price a little bit. The Bugatti, there are only 500 available. That's a little bit less scarcity. Bugatti is already a very well-established name within the auto sphere. They have their supply lines tailored to suit them. They're able to produce other cars, which are going to meet the needs of different um, groups of people who are not quite like yourself. Thus, the price is a little bit less expensive. The market that they're serving for some of their other products is a little bit less expensive. When they enter the world stage, they graciously pass those savings on to people like yourself. Not a drop in quality, just a difference in market. Wonderful. And the final detail, which I would like to point out to you with the Bugatti is, of course, the Bugatti Horseshoe, included on all Bugattis since it was first invented, or since it was first created, I should say. The Bugatti Horseshoe is what makes the Chiron distinct. It's what defines it as a Bugatti, in addition to everything that we've talked about. It's the seal that describes perfection. Wonderful. Now I mentioned that I wanted to show you three. We've been through two, but the third, I urge you not to dismiss. The third, which I'm about to show you, is a very special automobile. It is with great pleasure that I am able to introduce to you a very recent addition to the hypercar uh, 
lineup, the Pagani Utopia. Now, the Pagani Utopia was developed, of course, by Pagani, which is based out of Italy. And this is their third and most recent um, offering to the hypercar market. Pagani has only developed three models of cars, the Utopia being the most recent. It came out less than a year ago. Pagani has a different philosophy, design philosophy, from the other cars and automakers which we have discussed. Pagani, of course, makes a very high-performing vehicle. But more than that, what they strive for, what makes a Pagani a Pagani, is pushing the envelope on what a car can look like, is creating something that is elevated beyond being a very nice car, beyond being a hyper car. And it's what makes Pagani cars a work of art, a peerless work of art, first and foremost, before it's a vehicle, before it's a car. Pagani makes art. And that is why I wanted to show it to you. Because where the others might prioritize luxury styling or incredible heart pumping adrenaline rushing performance Pagani makes art it defies expectation it defies what makes a car a car but it makes art of course that doesn't mean that the Pagani in any way in any way is going to skimp out on performance it can do zero to 60 in under or around three seconds. It has a very robust V12 motor developed specifically for them by Mercedes with over 860 horsepower under the hood. And its top speed is about 219 miles per hour. A very, very fast car. Not quite as fast as the Bugatti or the Lycan, but again, they make art, and this is art. You can see on the interior, all, for the most part, analog, timeless. Pagani wanted to make a car that you could look at a thousand years from now, two thousand years from now, and it wouldn't look out of place, and it wouldn't look old. It looks retro, it looks intentional, it looks analog, but every single aspect is purposeful. Every single aspect is bespoke. And every styling that Pagani has to offer in its Utopia model has been thought out, has been agonized over, has been obsessed over. Pagani is obsessed with perfection. Now, We've talked a little bit about its style. We've talked a little bit about the performance. Let's talk a little bit about the company, of course, because as I mentioned, you know, one very new company with the DW Motors, one older company with the Bugatti. Bugatti is somewhere in the middle. Bugatti was founded in 1992 by Mr. Bugatti in Italy. And he spent some time working for Lamborghini. He spent some time developing his own automobile schematics. But after his time at Lamborghini, he realized that he wanted to not make, he wanted to not just make a car that was a very nice car. He wanted to make art on wheels. And that's what this is. I forgot to point out to you my favorite styling. It's that clover exhaust housing. Okay, that clover exhaust housing. It's distinct. It's what makes a Pagani a Pagani. And that's really what I think makes Pagani special. What makes the Utopia special. The other hypercars that I've shown you, not to say that they could be mistaken for other very high-performing vehicles, but they don't really push the envelope. 
They look extraordinary. They perform extraordinarily. They do everything down to the last rivet perfectly. But Pagani, it's distinct, it's unique. When this comes down the road at you, or is passing you, which is perhaps a little bit more likely if you're in a traditional car, you have seen something unique, something, interestingly, that only 99 people in the world will own, because only 99 of these cars will ever be made. Very exclusive, a little bit more exclusive than the Bugatti, not quite as exclusive as the Lycan, but coming in a net around $2.1 million, $2.2 million. The Bugani is not just the most affordable, it is the most unique, okay? I wanted to impress upon you the difference because some people, when they hear 220 miles per hour, 219 miles per hour is a top speed versus 260, they think, well, my goodness, why would I want a car that is a significant amount slower? Now the answer is because this is not a hypercar, it's art that can go at 220 miles per hour. And I wanted to impress that upon you, I wanted to help you understand that it's not just about the performance, it's not just about the specs and about the um, weight of the car, how it's been reduced, the luxury of the car, how it's been enhanced. Hypercars are meant to stand out. Hypercars have been created to serve the upper echelon of society and to help you stake your claim as someone different. Okay? Excellent. With all that in mind, I find that I've talked for quite some time, perhaps too long. But I hope that I've given you enough time to start to make a decision. Have you any additional questions in mind? Have you any thoughts about the three vehicles which I have shown you? Wonderful. Decisiveness is a quality that I greatly admire in people and you being able to point and say that one, it is impressive to me. You were able to cut through the noise of my ramblings, perhaps, and find the thing that meant the most to you. Very impressive. And that is who we serve here at Reverie Auto. Impressive people. And we serve you impressive motor cars. I hope that you have had a very pleasant, very satisfying, and most importantly, very rewarding experience here at Reverie Auto. There is, of course, some additional paperwork that you and I must fill out together. Some additional stylings, accoutrements, bespoke features, which must be decided on. But I am not apprehensive about that. I think you'll be able to make very swift decisions with what I have shown you. And I'm very, very confident that within the next day, perhaps less, we will be able to get you your hypercar directly shipped to you, to your driveway, so that you may drive it as soon as possible. How does that sound? Wonderful. I'm glad that it does. Perfect. Then, if you don't mind, right this way, I am going to quickly grab the paperwork, which will need to be filled out, and I will see you again very, very soon. Wonderful. Yes, right this way. I'll be by in a moment. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye.